Hello. Hi, this is Michael. <laughs> and Mary. From Clutter Stuff. Clutter uh, stuff. Congratulations on 100 subscribers. It seems like you just finished your 50 subscriber giveaway, but congratulations. This is, is great. You've, you're really growing quickly. Um, so, uh, it, for those of you who um, don't know, uh, Joe Manganero is, uh, has a great YouTube channel. Uh, he does a lot of horror um, subscription box unboxings and um, horror movie reviews and things like that. So it's, you know he's really he's focused on horror movies. And um, I finally found is, my twin. And that is <laughs> that is uh, uh, you know we, it's great. We love watching these movies. So um, his, uh, his videos. I mean. So anyway. So uh, the giveaway. He want he asked us to uh, name a horror movie, either a horror movie or a scene from a horror movie that causes a strong emotional um, reaction or an emotional response. Mm -hmm. um, any emotion. Mm -hmm. um, so Mary, you can go first. So um, in the Final Destination series. Pretty much like all the deaths are like hap happen in like a pretty gross way. Like um like when someone dies I'm just like, ooh, that's not scary of other girls. <laughs> yes. Like it like it doesn't scare me, it just kinda of turns your stomach a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um Yeah, so mine is uh you said I'm, I'm going to actually name two. I'm going to give you a serious answer, and then I'm going to give you a kind of secondary. That's pretty serious, too. But Okay, so the first one is The Exorcist. Um, I don't know if you're aware of the background of that movie, but, but the movie is based on a book um, that uh, was actually based on a true story. That true story happened about 10 miles from where I grew up. Uh, you can, I've actually read the, uh, you, can, you can actually find online where they have clippings from the, the local newspaper that I grew up reading um, about a little boy who, uh, who lived in, in uh, Mount Rainier, which was about, about, like I said, about 10 minutes, uh, about 10 miles from where I grew up, um, who basically uh, they thought he was possessed by the demons. Um, they took him to Georgetown University where exorcisms were performed on this kid. Um, in fact, my best friend actually grew up in, in Brentwood, which is just a, literally a couple of blocks from where this little boy lived. Um, so when I watched that movie, and see now I'm, I'm kind of an, more of an old school um, horror fan. Uh, you know, I mean, I love the stuff from the 70s and 80s. Uh, you know, and, and I mean, you know, pretty much before the 70s, you know, uh, a lot of those are kind of iffy in terms of how scary they actually are. Like, uh, but the, the ones from, I, I think uh, The Exorcist is, is one where, you know, in terms of, of really disturbing you, you know, nowadays, you know, all of the horror movies coming out really seem like they are, are all trying to push the envelope and, and are trying to one-up each other and being further and further and further and, and going further and further. And, you know, it, it just seemed, to me, The Exorcist, it, it's, it's just as disturbing without the gross-out factor. I mean, there were a lot of scenes in that movie that are just, just, I mean, God. I mean, the, the scene with the crucifix, the, the spider walk down the stairs. Um, you know, I, I, I'm trying to remember now if that was in the original. Because, I, you know, I would, obviously I was a big fan of The Exorcist. I went and saw the, uh, the, the re-release that had the extra added footage into it. Went and saw that on opening night. So now I'm, I'm trying to remember now if that was part of the, if that spider walk scene was the part of the original or if it was part of the, uh, the, um, re-release. But anyway, either way, I mean, just the movie in general, um, you know, it, it, it's, it wasn't try it wasn't being 
disturbing for for disturbing sake it was just a good solid horror movie and the fact that I know that this was based on a true story that happened not far from where I grew up make it gives it that extra dimension of disturbing that they just really um, every time I watch that it's just like geez are there you know are there demons out there gonna get you you know I mean there's it's it's uh, extra level of reality that other horror movies don't really have. Um, my second answer is the uh, the reboot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The whole movie pr provokes a um, a very strong emotional response in me. It's called anger that they even made that thing. That was such a horrible, horrible movie. I mean, yeah, the, the special effects were better and everything, but, you know, you mentioned that Texas Chainsaw Massacre was one of the uh, themes in the, in the prize here. And I'll tell you, I have gone on record and told people, and not horror, not even necessarily horror fans, that Texas Chainsaw Massacre, in terms of just being a good movie, is almost perfect. Every aspect of that movie, the original is perfect. I mean, the 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 grain of the film that was used, the 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 minimalist soundtrack. I mean, there was basically no sound. I mean, no soundtrack in most of them for most of the movie. Uh, in terms of you know the the there's no music playing in the background. There's no you know there's no songs. There's no little like creepy noises or anything like that. It's just pure. And it just, it, the whole thing captures this, this tone that is absolutely perfect when it comes to, to horror. Um, but, I mean, it, it, even, even non-horror movies could take lessons from Texas Chain, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and how to create a feeling. Uh, so when I saw the remake of that movie, I don't even want to, I don't even want to talk about it. It makes me angry. I mean, there were just these weird scenes. I mean, they just they cut out parts of the movie and, and added new scenes. And, you know, just the whole thing was just uh, just a bad movie. Just it wasn't good. It took away everything that was great about the first of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and and made it into a just a garbage Hollywood overproduced modern day horror movie and and not a good one at that it doesn't stand up to any of the good modern day horror movies so that's that's my two answers and Mary's answer and um, uh, hope you enjoy the video again congratulations on 100 subscribers um, and we uh, will see you when you reach 200 in about a week and a half, I guess, right? <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.